Storm Spirit, that's a VP hero. Storm Spirit last pick for Virtus Pro and no one classic. Or he's gonna save his teammate. And then Shaman's there to sort of protect him as well. Like they have good ways to defend around that. Virtus Pro, they were sitting on the high ground. RNG though, marching in force with the four man trying to secure these batting rooms and maybe getting a first blood as Ramsey's chose to go open wounds to try and get a kill, but instead he may fall flash shot from Lana. The second place finisher at TI1 will secure the first blood for RNG. Yeah. That's the big difference here. Pasha, run into Pasha. Backstroke nearby, but RNG, who had smoked up on the high ground, they're going to be able to find him. Purging Pasha. They're going to be able to get the sounds on him as well. Pasha holding on to the Ravage for a while, but now we can turn. Papa potentially does manage to get it off the hole. Right on top with the three man black hole. They got completely baited in. That watermelon looked awfully delicious, and RNG wanted to take the bite. They do manage to finish off the tide, but it's going to cost them two, possibly three. Another aquatic shield activates the shrine. Flyby. Very tanky here. Knows that he needs to be able to fight back. He's got no other options. A second round of a shield tanky. for him. Is VP really going to try and chase him down all this way? Another aquatic shield's coming up, but the fire blast multi gas comes just a bit too late and a bit too far away. Still a very good fight for them. Is they're going to run in, find art style here. War trapped up by Lanham, trying to get out, but this should be enough as Lanham picks up the last hit, read out a little bit more because of Roger. Setsu. Virtus Pro, they have their eyes on him. The slow little roll forward from no one is going to be able to catch Setsu. The TPs are coming in. The Shattered even looking to be able to get that disruption, but he's just not there in time. Afu now looks for the offensive disruption. He's got both Flyby as well as Monet, who's going to make his first showing with the Radiance. Solo is going to be the victim once again of RNG's rotation. And they feel fine about that. The Storm gets out no problem. And RNG are taking advantage of this Words being used with that curse as well. And Setsu's not quite there yet. Maybe they take the fight. Autumn, he's going to be a little bit low immediately. The Aquatic Shield comes out. They turn around. Hex. Oh, no one didn't expect that one, but he is going to be saved. He's able to jump out. Now the Ravage, the Ravage. coming down. He's going to be able to hit the Abaddon while they focus down the Shatter Demon. But he managed to get off the disruption. Can fly by, save him. Or else he's just going to focus on Monet entirely. Monet in front of all these heroes. Now with Setsu in with Radiance as well. As this burn damage coming out from the Light Strike. It's too much for VP to be able to handle. Oh, Ramsey's trying to man fight against his Alchemist with the Fire Blast. Can they actually do it with the Gush as well? So much minus armor. Monet no longer has chemical rage, and he's actually gonna fall. No one dies, but it looks like VP will take on Sensu as well with Pasha living through it all. And think about what will win us this game. Oh, for sure. Pasha right now is playing to win 1-1-7, one, one, and seven, but his score doesn't really quite reflect the impact that he's had in this game. Yeah. He's just been a thorn in RNG's side, and you'd like to see them bring him here so that he can defend mid. And look at that, he's here again. Is they're gonna make the jump? For the captain of VP, but Lana, he's gonna the be three. a one with a beautiful black hole. Managing to lock down the three, and it looks like Monet's gonna get popped before Flyby could provide any sort of saving grace. Now Wafu will die as well. How many times are you gonna kill Solo before you realize it's just a bait? Protecting his team's towers and leading fights. This is a Tidehunter without Blink Dagger, and he's always in a good position. Bottom lane. Jumping forward. Oh, oh no, he actually pulled down the illusion. And uh, now, might be a death oh, now. Ramses is way too far forward as a result. A bit of an error. Oh, Ravage going out, but now Ravage has been used for nothing. Might be able to infest inside of the Storm Spirit. They get out together, but now RNG have an opening here. Now it's their turn to punish mistakes. Getting a Roshan like this is really going to kill VP's timing that they were getting to where they were able to actively and confidently contest RNG. And without the Black Hole, without the Ravage, that's really what signals this is. Midnight I mean, I can't Pulse believe they're really going to try this without Black Hole, without Ravage, but the Midnight Pulse is forcing RNG outside of the pit. Now the disruption going in. They're going to try and get the kill off the Storm Turn. They've got it too. With the Old Scepter into the Split Earth and the God Stable Concoction as well. Ramsey's trying to finish off some of the supports, but there is going to be the disruption now from Afu. Flyby is ready to go with some heals as well. Bottom's going to be able to limp away. No one with a buyback is going to be able to finish off at least one support. But Ramsey's, he needs to be able to get out of here with his Rage Timer, but the Unstable Concoction nails him. He's trying to get away from Flyby right now. Slow down. Oh, the Black Hole instantly gets canceled by Setsu. Beautiful Yule Scepter by him. And now looks to be able to chase down the heroes. They couldn't actually get the two big cores of EP, so they'll have to suffice for Roger. The fourth position Enigma, he will be the one to fall. And RNG. They do not have a cancel for it, so that would be a sick pickup. But RNG, they're going to push the pace. They've already taken this tier two, but they are showing no signs of slowing down as Monet 
He's gonna go for the stun. On to Solo, the follow-up is split Earth, a clean kill, no rebuttal from DP, and now gonna be forced into a four versus five. And look at this tower, it's going down really quickly. Yeah, Monet's just chopping it a bit, but they do have the life to learn. Fest combo, Monet got hex, as well as Jules step through. They're gonna try and hit him with the split Earth, and no one, he's just dead with that no, and look, the Ravage can actually save him with the five ball, it's all, but he takes that. It's only the, and no one doesn't have five back either. Afu does manage to actually kite around the life stealer as well. This is a disaster for BP. And and Afu's good. Swims away, but the unstable concoction is taking it's gonna find the tide hunter. He's gonna burn out from the radiance in the abotic shield explosion. Just a little Afu's still getting chased. HP, but he's still good. And Ramses, who had been making this chase for so long, he does have his rage. He will be able to fight back, but what can he really do with it? Setsu is so mobile that Ramses certainly won't be able to bring him down. He's gonna be forced to TP back to base, and that. That is going to be a mid lane of barracks at least, if not more, with 40 seconds on the clock for no one. Ramsey's just chased Afu around the map for almost a minute. Doesn't die, wasn't able to help his team. And, and again, he's gonna go for it. Solo will fall. Roger has the buyback. Oh no, they're gonna lose Ramsey's as well, who instantly buys back. How is VP gonna stop this push? Is RNG? They seem unstoppable right now. It's happening in a hurry right now, Cap. They're gonna try and go for Afu with the Solar Crest and Potic Shield. Somebody heals coming out from the Miscoil as well. They're gonna turn onto Ramses. Monet runs out of the Chemical Rage. A nice uh, Fire Blast done onto Monet. And now without the Chemical Rage, they're gonna try and bring down this Aegis. Monet, he's somewhat okay with this. They're actually gonna try and focus on some of the other heroes as Monet will slowly dig out. But first, he'll be able Guys, to bring Monet's still alive. Next. Fly by. You have to deal with Monet at some point in time. He has the Radiance of burning you down. He has that AT aura. Now he's gonna nice the BKB. But if they finish him off, there it is. They just wait out the Aegis. A beautiful reef by VP. It did cost them the racks, though. Here's the problem. Super fast on their timing. You go in for Lanham, he gets disrupted. Yeah. Fight just ends. Yep. Fight just ends. Uh, you can't go on flyby. And if you can't go on flyby, then he'll just reset the fight for his team anyways. All your stuns are cleared out. He feels fine. Even if he gets Ravager, he'll just pop his ulti. Is VP gonna go in? Up. They decide they're gonna try and fight around these strength. Oh, they, they went on the illusion! They went on the illusion! They do have Oh no! Oh, He's just realized. KB. He does manage to get the black hole. The backline just evaporated. The two supports are already down. Setsu stunned up on the side here. But the cores of RNG are fighting strong, and they've already got a bash on Roger. The Meg's gonna be able to heal him up a little bit more. This call not gonna be enough. Ramses gets the rage off as well. Can they help him? He's got an infest. He should be able to get away. No one's no one's not a mana. Just shot of being able to get to the other side of the cliff, but now he's stuck and now he's dead. Oh no. He, the buyback is available for no one. RNG are here in force. And some Pasha certainly needs the help. No one tries to jump over here. He gets hexed up. He's trying to go for Abu. Just you pointed out anytime he's going for the back line. RNG has the answer and Ramses will fail to get the kill that no one could not pick up on himself. And now he's being controlled up by the shackles. Finished up by the it. it. RNG take game number one the CIS powerhouse of Virtus Pro. Yeah, the axe build that some people go can really save this game, you know? Mike, which is pretty good okay. against Void. Double life. Yep. The way that Wraith King works as a hero is, once you go on him once, you don't have to just drop your rock reflexive. Oh, Setsu, that's oh. gonna be a first blood for no one. Unexpected in this mid matchup. That did he no just one... get soloed? Yes, he did. Back, look at Roger. He wants to be able to get another kill on Setsu, and it looks like he oh, might just be him. able to get it with the Avalanche. The toss back into the Jar of oh, no one runs into the Tier 1 tower range, and that Rocket Barrage will just eat Setsu up. It makes it really easy for the enemy 5 to just sit behind mid and not really lose out on too much because you know where the Tiny is. Oh, Monet, bash after bash, the RNG is in his favor, and with the Stomp to be able to finish him off, Lanham claims to kill. I mean, we've seen Gyrocopter. I was quite surprised being very successful hero without being paired with the IO bottom lane. They do manage to kill Pasha. Setsu makes the rotation over to secure the bounty runes. They are going to try and get the top lane, but oh, Flyby actually managed to snag that bounty rune. Now the TPs are going to come in to make sure he's oh, okay. Canceled. They cancel the TP. One last heal before he goes, but Flyby, surrounded by four heroes, just will not make it out alive. The last Ray Fire Blast secures it as Zolo is the one to get the last hit. And look at this. Both teams are looking to make the, the same maneuver here. A smoke up of the mid laner off of the support and rotate into the enemy safe lane. Virtus Pro is going to do it first. 
Look at the timing of this. And they're going to run into Ramses, who got stunned up by the Centaur, but he's by the Shrine. They need to hurry up and TP. Dang. Roger already starts it, but... He has a reincarnation. No one. What a fast rotation from him. Instantly TPs into the mid lane. He's going to be able to catch at least one. And look at Ramses go. He's going to be able to get the stun onto Setsu with Roger with a follow-up as well. They're going to lay into that left Shrek and pick up the double kill for no one. Oh, look at this. They've read them perfectly. They're drawing the lines. They know they're up there. Yep. And they're just going to play on this right-hand side behind the but mid they tower. They still want to be able to protect it, but at the same time, if they don't engage into RNG, the Dive Ball Gita will finish off this mid tower. And Roger trying to brave that distance, but now maybe caught by RNG. Monet doesn't want to use the Chronosphere for just a tiny. He's going to get bonked on the head, but that's what Flyby is there for. With the Heavenly Grace, and ready to go with the heals. Now Roger's going to be slowed down. They do have good ultimate coming out from no one. They turn around with the Avalanche as well, but can they do any sort of damage? These are really tanky heroes on the side of RNG. Oh, he got caught by the Centaur. Onto the Gyrocopter. Now they're going to be able to Chronosphere. They can out of Goffer and gets dropped with the Beta Bonds as well. Now the Flat Cannon shots raining out on RNG. All of them quite low, but do they have the catch? A nice toss on Pasha. Will be able to get the stun onto Leshrek to finish off. And now the Rocket Barrage running down flyby. Missile nails him, and there's just nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. He's going to try and outpace no one, hide around these trees, away from the Rocket Barrage, just buy more and more time if possible. Drums being activated by Pasha just to make sure with the TP way, but the stomp is there. This is why Pasha continue to chase with the Gyrocopter all along. Shrine rotation. Mass TP's coming in. They know where no one is. As soon as they saw the Wraith King over the top lane, they say he's the strongest hero right now. If he's not here, we can win a fight against VP. But no one is still super tanky with that BKB. Slowed down by the purge. His BKB eventually wears out. Set to going for the split. I stop. It's landed on Jadarkopter. What a stop from Pasha, though. Gyro as well as Pasha and Roger just combo together to get a lot of damage. But Gyro still finished off by Monet, who managed to blink in and finish him off. Now, going back to the shrine, Pasha. Looks to be able to catch these heroes in Flyby and Monet. The toss forward into the stomp. No, time walk away from Monet. Does manage to get him away. Nice stomp from Lanham. At least hits the Centaur Flyby, who's super tanky right now. Monet is actually going to go and try and execute Solo, but instead going to be caught by the toss. Saved now by Flyby. Now the BKB activated Solo. The stomp in. They're trying to finish off this Omni Knight. The physical damage isn't quite good enough. He does manage to get off the head. Flyby still Monet alive. Finish off that support. And Monet is now going to turn onto Pasha as well with a Soul Catcher, bringing this tanky centaur low. He's trying to find his way out of here, but Roger, a beautiful initiation to stop the four step. Up. Somebody die! And they do manage to get him. A follow up stun on the Monet, but he time walks it off, and Pasha is so low. One swing from Afu, another one. They need a little bit more, and finally he does go down. Roger with the Yule Scepter into the split earth is dead as well. And Ramses, you don't have the backup anymore, so he's going to start retreating. And just being stronger as a five man unit and being set up is so important. But Lan M. Might get run into here. Ramsey's gonna jump forward, runs into Afu, who gets four staffed. Nice. Does have the old T and the disruption. disruption. Gonna try to reset come in. Himself. Roger's trying to finish up Afu, but Setsu coming in. They do have the Guardian Sage allowed from the Omni Knight. This is gonna slow down a lot of damage of VP. They're gonna throw out the Stampede. Yule Scepter chasing down Ramsey's lives on a sliver of health. He still has reincarnation, but they're gonna go for the Omni Knight. Do manage to get him with the stomp. And now into the Chronosphere. He doesn't get a chance to be able to pop his BKB until the very end, but he's low enough that maybe he can't fight. Monet, he's gonna pop a BKB of his own, and there goes the reincarnation of Ramsey's flyby quite slow hit by the stomp and there is the stomp in return now from the Elder Titan and now with a big percentage based damage maybe Pasha is actually gonna fall here it looks like too much damage the centaur gets overwhelmed and Ramsey's trying to turn around gets this crit on the Monet but it's not enough to finish him off and now they just kite around the race king and they'll finish him off three dead on the side of Burnish Pro with no flybacks Captain Solo on the retreat but gotta be found is a four staff from Monet and a time walk will surely end his life Big time kills. Look at Setsu actually. He's looking to be able to run down no one. He's caught up to him. All that mobility into his favor. No one living with just a sliver of health. Roger to be able to intercept with the avalanche as well. They won't get wiped entirely, but RNG in a oh, beautiful Who's going to find him here? Afu managed to find him. Oh, the meanwhile, there's that top push at the top lane. No one is going to be able to burst down his own illusion, trying to deal with Afu right now, but that tier three at top is taking so much damage. Afu made all that space in the world. Gyrocopter will live through the poison. Stacked up. We need to play on the front lines like most voids are not able to do. And Ramsey is going to TP in. They want to take this fight around their shrine area. Plus, they have the high grounds.
You can't just allow all of your map to get filtered out. They're going to run into each other. Five on five. Disruption. Soul Catcher. Rancy started quite low. Almost getting burned out immediately. Posh is going to try and get the chain stun, but there's that Heavenly Grace. Now Posh is going to be slowed down. Goes for the Stampede, but immediately the Yule Scepter from Setsu holds him in place. That's Posh at dead. And no buyback either. Monet. Not even have to blow the Chronosphere is going to look for another one with that time walk. Marching towards the tier force with the initiation coming out from Ramsey with the avalanche over the top. The Kanak offering as well. They get the fatal bonds on top of that, but the time walk allows Monet to stand strong. He's got the Chronosphere on top of the gyrocopter as well. Half health, but no one laying out the black end and damage is going to be enough. No, he gets first down. They're so tanky. It's not RNG taking through everything. Three dead on the side of Furnace Pro. No buyback for Roger as well. He dies, immediately buys back. Him and Ramses are going to have to watch Elena Barracks being pummeled down by RNG. No one does have the buyback and looking towards they? mid, but there's still a tier 2 tower. They could just swing up towards top. And Team the initiation. Ramses trying to go on the left strike immediately, trying to deal with the damage dealer. He does have his reincarnation up. Monet is going to take that away from him nice and fast. They do manage to get the toss up in the air on his set to. Ramses really wanted to be able to lock down that left strike, but can't actually get him. And he may just fall here. It's Monet challenging with bash after bash. Gets the still one. Gets the beyond godlike to be able to finish up. Ramses gets Roger as well. He loses the ages, but he's got a second life. No one can't finish up. Set to is all. Is that it? Are we seeing the last of Furnace Pro at the International? They just and can't kill anybody. The last of this roster. They can't kill anyone, Cap. They hard commit. So demoralizing watching fly and by run out. Furnace Pro call it. The curse strikes again and RNG make it through the best of one. They take down the CAS powerhouse of Furnace Pro and the whole crowd is on their feet. The Chinese underdog team of RNG Barely makes it through the qualifiers, barely makes it out of group, barely makes it through best of ones. Now dominate Furtis Pro in a swift 2 0. And the Kings of CIS in a stunner. This is what I feel like is our first really big upset. We're going to see VP go home at 12.